Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita Mane. In today's video, let us discuss branch accounting. This is the introduction part of branch accounting. So without wasting time, let's start the session. First, we'll try to understand what is a branch. A branch is a subordinate division of a central office or head office. Branch is what? Branch is a subdivision or subsection of head office. A branch is a section of an enterprise geographically separated from the rest of the business, controlled by the head office and generally carrying on the same activities as the enterprise. So this is the meaning of branch. So in short to remember, branch is what? Branch is the sub section of head office or subdivision of the head office or central office. Now next is what is branch accounting? Now head office is what? Head office is the main branch or sorry main section which controls the remaining branches or subsidiary branches okay so head office is what head office is the main section which controls the subsidiary branches okay means remaining branches who controls head office so in order to exercise greater control over the branches it is necessary to find out or to ascertain profit or loss made by such branches separately this system of maintaining accounts of branch is called as branch accounting okay suppose the head office is what it is the main section this head office controls the remaining branches in the area now to find out that each branches whether the branches is in profit or loss they have to, the head office has to maintain some accounts so these accounts are nothing but branch accounting okay so this system of maintaining the accounts of the branches to find profit and loss made by the branches separately it is called as branch accounting now next what are the objective of branch account okay so first is what to know the number of transaction occurred in the branch to find out how many number of transactions have been happened in the branch during the year to find out the nature of expenses incurred in the branch and its requirement next is to know about the cash position of the branch to know the inventory level at the branch to know the profit and loss of the branch to to evaluate the performance of the staff at the branch so these are some of next we'll move to the types of classification of branches now basically there are two types and it is called as home branches or inland branches okay now next is foreign branches now what is foreign branches the foreign branches means it is the expansion of business enterprises by opening different shops or different offices in other countries okay that means the branches in other countries foreign branches means head office is in in our country in india and in other countries there are other branches so those are called as foreign branches so i will repeat again foreign branches means the expansion of business enterprises by opening different shop or different offices that is branches in other countries so these are those are called as foreign branches clear now next we'll move to the next two types of home branches that is dependent branches and independent branches so dependent branches now dependent branches means those branches okay all the decisions and all the operations of this dependent branches are controlled by the head office okay 
or central office are called as dependent branches that means the word dependent okay dependent means this branches are dependent on the head office okay all the control all the operations of the dependent branches will be controlled by whom by the head office okay so those are called as dependent branches next is what next is independent branches now independent branches means these branches are totally independent okay and autonomous they are allowed to make their own purchases from open market and pay for their expenses that means independent branches are not dependent on head office they are they have the right or they are controlled by themselves only so they can make the decision of operation or purchase their own goods from open market and pay the expenses so they this independent branches are not dependent on head office okay so these are two difference between dependent branches and independent branches i hope this classification of branches is clear so two types of branches are there home branches which is also called as inland branches and foreign branches further home branches are classified into two types dependent branches and independent branches dependent branches means the branches are dependent on the head office for their working for their operation okay of the branches independent branches they are not dependent on head office now next we'll move to the accounting treatment or accounting method of branch accounting total there are four methods of accounting in branch accounting first is debtors method second is stock and debtors method third is branch trading and profit and loss method and next is last is wholesale branch method so these are four types of accounting methods or accounting treatment in branch accounting i will repeat again debtors method stock and debtors method branch trading and profit and loss method wholesale branch method so today we are going to study about stock and debtors method okay why when in which situation this method is used we are going to study in this lecture okay so stock and debtors method this method is also called as analytical method now this method is used when the goods are sent to branch at an invoice price now what is invoice price invoice price means the price which includes the selling price plus profit is called as invoice price so stock and debtors method is also called as analytical method it is generally used when the goods are sent to branch at an invoice price now invoice price means the price which includes selling price plus profit is called as invoice price next when the sizes of the branch is sufficiently large so when the branch size is large this method is used when the turn where the turnover at the branch is high then where there is a need the branch account on elaborate method so this uh, stock and debtors method is used now next in stock and debtors method there are few accounts to be maintained so which are those account we will see in the further slide okay now in stock and debtors method total there are nine accounts to be stock account branch stock account now purpose of preparing or maintaining branch stock account is what to a certain or to find the to find any shortage or surplus in stock so we prepare branch stock account 
नेक्स्ट इज ब्रांड आउट द ओपनिंग बैलेंस ऑफ डेटर्स और क्रेडिट सेल और कलेक्शन फ्रॉम डेटर्स और क्लोजिंग बैलेंस ऑफ डेटर सो दिस इज द पर्पज बिहाइंड ओपनिंग और प्रिपेरिंग ब्रांच डेटर ब्रांच पिटी कैश अकाउंट ब्रांच पिटी कैश अकाउंट इज टू फाइंड आउट द एक्चुअल पिटी एक्सपेंसिस प्रिपेर ब्रांच फिफ्थ गुड सेंट टू ब्रांच टू फाइंड आउट द नेट कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सेंट टू ब्रांच नेक्स्ट अकाउंट वी हैव टू प्रिप सेवेंथ ब्रांच कैश अकाउंट टू नो द पोजिशन ऑफ कैश एट ब्रांच फॉर दिस पर्पज we prepare branch cash account next is branch adjustment account so branch adjustment account is prepared to know the gross profit or gross loss at branch so why we prepare branch stock account to know or to find out any shortage or surplus in stock so this is this is the format of branch stock account so debit side credit side so in the debit side of branch stock account first entry will be to balance brought down then remaining to goods sent to branch reason is also there goods supplied to branch okay so if goods are sent from head office to branch okay from head office to branch so the entry will come in go in branch stock account why because it is a stock which is coming in the branch then two branch debtors two goods sent to branch then if there are any adjustment to the credit side it is by cash by debt stock are sold on credit basis so it will come in by branch debtors credit sale and the second effect will come in debtors account in the debit side so this is the uh, format or the entries which is to be posted under the heading of branch stock account okay just go through all the entries which are to be posted in debit side and in the credit side now next account is account number 2 account number 2 is branch debtors account now why do we prepare branch debtors account to find the opening balance of debtors or any credit sale collections from debtors so now basically in branch who will be the debtors obviously the customers will be the debtors okay then closing balance of the debtors so this is the format okay of branch debtors account so in the debit side these are the entries to be posted in the credit side these are the entries like see in debit side to balance brought down to branch stock credit sell see as i as i said that so in branch stock account in branch stock account in the credit side it will come by branch debtors credit sell and in branch account in branch debtors account it will come in the debit side to branch stock credit sell so if there is any bill receivable you have to pass the entry in the branch debtors account then in the credit side branch cash if there are any cash collections from the customers then bill receivable by branch stock goods if the stocks are by branch expenses second effect will come here and by balance carried down this are the, this is the format of branch debtors account next is branch pity cash account okay so this is the format of branch pity cash account next account is branch expenses account so why branch expenses account is prepared ba branch expenses account is uh, prepared to find out the total expenses incurred in the branch during the year so or in the debit side this entries will come in the credit side this entries will come so whatever is the difference okay the closing balance of branch account will be transferred to branch profit and loss account okay next is next is uh, account number 5 is goods sent to branch so if there are any goods sent to branch then to branch stock 
return to head office any adjustment then purchase trading and buy branch stocks good these are the entries which will come in now why do we prepare branch fixed asset to know the position of fixed asset at the branch so this is the format of branch fixed assets account next account number 7 is branch cash account so branch cash account this is the entries to be posted in branch cash account debit side and credit side so in debit side of branch cash account to balance brought down to branch debtors if there are any cash collection from debtors so first effect will come in the debtors account okay and second uh, first effect will come in the branch debtors account to credits in credit side and second effect will come in branch cash account that is branch debtors account reason is cash collection from debtors so stock uh, branch then in uh, expenses see by branch expenses salary rent tax so in expenses branch expenses account see in branch expenses account two branch cash was there Re, uh, salary rent taxes were there so first effect we gave in expenses second effect will come in by branch expenses under credit side in branch cash account okay so each effect or each entry is going to have two in other account it will be by next account is by branch adjustment basically we find we prepare this branch adjustment account to know the gross profit or gross loss account okay so basically here all the loadings will come okay so in next lecture i will explain you what do you mean by so and we will see the examples of of uh, loading also so all the entries to uh, loading it will come in branch adjustment account last account is branch profit and loss account so branch profit and loss account is prepared to know the net profit or net loss at the branches so these are the entries we have to pass or post in this account debit side and credit side so hope you have rem uh, hope you have understood the format of uh, uh, this thing accounts to be prepared under stock and debtors account so total there are nine accounts to be maintained and each uh, account entries uh, to be posted okay so hope you have understood this today's session in next lecture we will see some examples and uh, examples of loading and how to prepare this uh, accounts Uh, like branch stock account debtors account pt cash expenses fixed assets account branch cash adjustment and profit and loss account thank you